Welcome to the channel, subscribe or dale like if you like it. Today we are going to explain the active principle dexamethasone, fortacortin, decadron, dexanos, zodex, its side effects, its doses, contraindications, warnings, mechanism of action, pregnancy and lactation. What is dexamethasone? Dexamethasone is a drug used for the treatment of cerebral edema, bacterial meningitis, dermatological diseases, rheumatic diseases and others. Dexamethasone is currently being evaluated for the treatment of coronavirus, COVID-19. But its use should always be under a doctor's review. Dexamethasone's trade names are, Fortacortin, Decadron, Dexamethasone and Tensol, Dexasone, Zodex. Dexamethasone Mechanism of Action, MOA Long-acting fluorinated corticoid, high anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive power and low mineral low corticoid activity. Therapeutic Indications of Dexamethasone Treatment of cerebral edema secondary to brain tumors, head trauma, neurosurgery, brain abscesses or bacterial meningitis, treatment of traumatic shock, treatment of severe acute asthma or asthmatic status. Initial parenteral treatment of severe acute dermatological diseases such as erythroderma, pemphigus vulgaris or acute eczema, initial parenteral treatment of active phases of collagenosis such as systemic lupus erythematosus, especially visceral forms, initial treatment of autoimmune diseases, treatment of active rheumatoid arthritis, active phases of systemic vasculitis such as panarteritis nodosa, duration of treatment should be limited to two weeks in concomitant cases of HBV positive serology, severe progressive course of active rheumatoid arthritis, p, e.g., forms of rapid destructive procedure or extra-articular manifestations, severe systemic course of juvenile idiopathic arthritis, Stills disease, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura in adults, tuberculous meningitis only in conjunction with anti-infective therapy, treatment of severe infectious diseases, e.g., typhoid fever, brucellosis, tuberculosis, only as adjuvant therapy to appropriate anti-infective treatment, palliative treatment of neoplastic diseases, treatment of symptomatic multiple myeloma, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Hodgkin's disease and non-Hodgkin's lymphomas in combination with other drugs, prophylaxis and treatment of cytostatic-induced nausea and vomiting within the scope of antiemetic regimens, prevention and treatment of postoperative vomiting, with antiemetic treatment treatment of anaphylactic shock, as therapy following primary epinephrine injection, by intraarticular injection for persistent inflammation in one or more joints following systemic treatment of chronic joint inflammation. Activated osteoarthritis, acute forms of humerus scapular periarthropathy, infiltrative treatment, only if justified, for tendosynovitis and non-bacterial bursitis, periarthropathy, tendinopathy. Mode of administration of dexamethasone. Tablets, take during or after meals with the help of sufficient liquid, avoid drinks containing alcohol or caffeine. Dexamethasone contraindications. Hypersensitivity. In intravenous injection and tablets of 20 and 40 mg is contraindicated in case of systemic infections unless specific anti-infective treatment is used. Intraarticular injection is contraindicated in case of infections in the joint to be treated or very close to it, bacterial arthritis, instability of the joint to be treated, tendency to bleed, spontaneously or due to anticoagulants, periarticular calcification, a vascular osteonecrosis, rupture of a tendon, Charcot's disease. Infiltration without additional causal treatment is contraindicated when there is infection at the site of administration. Also for 20 and 40 mg tablets, stomach or duodenal ulcer, vaccination with live vaccines during treatment with high doses. Dexamethasone warnings and precautions. Children, elderly, renal failure and liver failure, adjuspasology. Risk of adrenocortical insufficiency in prolonged treatment and bacterial, viral, fungal, parasitic and opportunistic infections, acute and chronic bacterial infections, use specific antibiotic treatment, in history of tuberculosis administer only under protection of anti-tuberculosis drugs, post-vaccination lymphadenitis with BCG, HBS AG plus antigen, chronic hepatitis, acute viral infections, 
e g hbv herpes zoster herpes simplex poliomyelitis herpes keratitis measles special caution in patients with immunosuppression or in patients who have not had measles or chickenpox and are in contact with people with measles or chickenpox parasitism and systemic mycosis for example nematodes amoebic infection known or suspected heavy strong uloid infestation caution eight weeks before and two weeks after prophylactic vaccination with live vaccines peptic ulcer osteoporosis severe heart failure difficult to control hypertension difficult to control diabetes mellitus monitor and adjust doses in psychiatric including risk of suicide also included in patients psychiatric history closed angle glaucoma open angle glaucoma corneal ulcers or injuries severe ulcerative colitis with risk of perforation without peritoneal irritation diverticulitis enteroanastomosis immediately after surgery risk of tendon abnormalities tendonitis and tendon ruptures and concomitant treatment with fluoroquinolones in situations of physical stress e g febrile disorders accidents operations deliveries it may be necessary to increase the dose possible occurrence of severe anaphylactic reactions and bradycardia myasthenia gravis with high doses give potassium supplements restrict sodium in the diet and monitor plasma levels of potassium reported cases of tumor lysis syndrome tss in patients with malignant hematological process after the use of dexamethasone alone or in combination with other chemotherapeutic agents controlling patients at high risk of tss such as patients with high proliferation rate high tumor load and high sensitivity to cytotoxic agents ophthalmological follow-up every three months and prolonged treatment caution if blurred vision or other visual alterations appear cataracts glaucoma or rare diseases such as central serous chorioretinopathy pheochromocytoma liver failure and dexamethasone caution adjust dosage kidney failure and dexamethasone caution adjust dosage dexamethasone dosage individualized dosage based on disease and patient response intramuscular m intravenous 4 children recommended daily dose 0.08 to 0.3 mg slash kg adults cerebral edema 8 mg 4 continue with 4 mg slash 6 hours m until remission normally at 12 to 24 hours reduce dose after 2 to 4 days and withdraw gradually in 5 to 7 days brain abscess 4 to 8 mg 4 to 6 times slash day gradually decreasing the dose in prolonged treatment bacterial meningitis first administer the first dose of antibiotic plus 0.15 mg slash kg of dexamethasone and continue with this dose four times a day the first days traumatic shock initial 40 to 100 mg for repeated at 12 hours or 16 to 40 mg slash 6 hours for 2 to 3 days anaphylactic shock after injection of 4 epinephrine administer 100 mg of 4 dexamethasone repeat if necessary and infuse plasma expanders and use assisted ventilation acute severe asthma asthmatic status 8 to 20 mg 4 repeat if necessary 8 mg 4 hours severe acute dermatological diseases in collagenosis 0.5 to 9 mg 4 or m severe infectious diseases 4 to 20 mg slash day 4 in specific cases e g typhoid fever 200 mg 4 for example slow for infusion for 30 minutes prophylaxis and treatment of post-surgical nausea and vomiting 8 to 20 mg 4 as a single dose before surgery prophylaxis and treatment of cytostatic induced nausea and vomiting 10 to 20 mg 4 or oral before starting chemotherapy then 4 to 8 mg 2 to 3 times daily 1 to 3 days moderately methogenic chemotherapy or up to 6 days highly methogenic chemotherapy acute episodes or exacerbations of rheumatic diseases 0.5 to 9 mg slash day intraarticular and infiltrative treatment 0.2 to 6 mg depending on the size of the joints oral cerebral edema 
16 to 24 mg, up to 48 mg, in 3 to 4 doses, up to 6, 4 to 8 days. Acute severe asthma, adults 8 to 20 mg, repeat 8 mg slash 4 hours, children 0.15 to 0.3 mg slash kg followed by 0.3 mg slash kg slash 4 to 6 hours. Severe acute dermatological disease, 8 to 40 mg. Autoimmune disease, 6 to 16 mg slash day. Rheumatoid arthritis, rapid destructive form 12 to 16 mg slash day, extra articular manifestation 6 to 12 mg. Tuberculosis meningitis grade 2 3 disease with 4 treatment 4 weeks prior, 0, 4 mg slash kg slash day in week 1. 0.3 mg slash kg slash day in week 2, 0.2 mg slash kg slash day in week 3 and 0.1 mg slash kg slash day in week 4 4 mg slash day decreasing 1 mg slash week for 4 weeks, grade eye disease with 4 treatment 2 weeks prior. 0.3 mg slash kg slash day at week 1 and 0.2 mg slash kg slash day at week 2. 0.1 mg slash kg slash day 3 weeks and then a total of 3 mg slash day decreasing 1 mg slash week for 4 weeks. Prophylaxis and treatment of cytostatic induced nausea and vomiting, 10 to 20 mg before chemotherapy, followed by 4 to 8 mg slash 8 to 12 hours for 1 to 3 days or if necessary 6 days. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. 40 mg for 4 days in cycles. Palliative treatment of neoplastic diseases, 3 to 20 mg slash day. Prevention and treatment of postoperative vomiting, together with antiemetic treatment, single dose of 8 mg before surgery. Treatment of symptomatic multiple myeloma, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, Hodgkin's disease and non-Hodgkin's lymphomas in combination with other medications. 20 to 40 mg slash day. Interactions with dexamethasone. Increases risk of ulcer bleeding and gastrointestinal bleeding with NSAIDs, E, G, indomethacin, salicylates. Reduces effect of oral antidiabetics, insulin, somatropin, isoniazid. Effect reduced by CYP3A4 enzyme inducers, rifampicin, rifabutin, phenidoin. Carbamazepine, barbiturates, primidone, phenobarbital, adrenaline, ephedrine, aminoglutamide. Avoid with ketoconazole, itraconazole, medications containing cobisostat. Ephedrine, the metabolism of glucocorticoids can be accelerated by reducing their effectiveness. Dose adjustment of coumarin derivatives, oral anticoagulants. Increased effect with estrogens. For example, for contraceptive use, increase of IOP with atropine and other anticholinergics enhances the effect of cardiac glycosides, increases potassium excretion with siluritic slash laxants, decreases blood level of praziquantel. It increases the risk of hematological alterations with ACE inhibitor, increased risk of myopathy and cardiomyopathy with chloroquine hydroxychloroquine, mefloquine. Increased risk of infection with immunosuppressants. Increased risk of brain seizures with cyclosporin. Prolongs muscle relaxation from non-depolarizing muscle relaxants.